President, I rise uh, to bring attention to the matter of grave importance to the Senate. My friend and colleague from Indiana just spoke about this um, just a few minutes ago. Uh, we are going to be delivered articles of impeachment to this chamber, <clears throat> which is a uh, very important role that the, the Senate plays in our constitutional structure, our constitutional order. All of us are sworn in as jurors. This is a solemn act. It, you know, we, we, we swear when we take our oath that we will abide by the Constitution, we will protect the Constitution. This is something we're supposed to do. Now, politically speaking, Secretary Mayorkas has been a disaster. If you could have a Mount Rushmore of worst cabinet members in the history of the United States of America, he would be on that Mount Rushmore. Legally speaking, he's undermined the laws of the United States. But before we get there, we actually have to have a trial. In no instance in the history of this great republic, in 240 plus years, has this body, this the world's greatest deliberative body ever in the history of our country dismissed or tabled articles of impeachment for someone who's still serving in office or alive? Let me repeat that. It's never happened. And to quote my colleague from New York, who often says this, history is watching. Chuck Schumer, history is watching. Because 200 years from now, God willing, this republic, people will be in our chairs. We don't know their names. They will be referring back to the precedent that is set in this chamber to go down a road we've never gone down. Vote how you want to vote. <clears throat> Based on the evidence, your point of view, vote how you want to vote. But the idea that we would be setting this very dangerous precedent because Chuck Schumer doesn't want it in the news cycle for a couple of days is ridiculous. For my friends on both sides of the aisle that care about this place, this is perhaps the most dangerous act you could inflict upon this, short of blowing up the filibuster, to say that we're not going to hear the evidence, <clears throat> that we're not going to vote as senators, because we're afraid of a news cycle, which, by the way, would highlight the total and utter disaster that happens at our border. Nine million people have come across illegally. And I rise to point out just one aspect of that that's incredibly dangerous for this country. The number of Chinese nationals that are coming here. There have been 22,233 encounters of Chinese nationals crossing, crossing illegally at the northern and southern borders so far in fiscal year 2024. There were 24,000 125 encounters last year. To put that scale in perspective, there were just 342 apprehensions of Chinese nationals in 1987 in FY 2022. That is a dramatic increase. They're our greatest adversary. The 21st century will be defined who wins this great power struggle. And if you don't think there have been documented cases that some of these folks are coming here to spy on us, including military installations. I've got some oceanfront property in Missouri I'd like to sell you. Secretary Mayorkas, in his own memo, advocated for ignoring United States law. This is a big deal. Again, regardless of how you feel about how you're going to vote on this, my point of view is there's a lot of evidence that could be presented and will be presented to show that he has purposely undermined the sovereignty of the United States of America. That's a serious charge. The House of Representatives has voted to send that here. Let's hear it out. Let's do our constitutional duty. Let's not be afraid to do our jobs. With that, Mr. President, I yield back.